Hey guys, how's it going, companion? So as some of you guys know, I've been playing Pile of Exile a little bit here and there, um, just to see what the game is all about these days. Now, if you guys don't know, Pile of Exile is an RPG game much like Diablo. I'm not gonna go over all the detail of what the game is because I have played it. Before Hearthstone, I played Path of Exile for over a year. In fact, it was basically all I did. And it came to the point where I was just really, really bored of the game and then tried a bunch of games and eventually, well, I found Hearthstone. So there it is. That's why I ended up playing that game. But, you know, I was really a master at this game. And every every now and then from time to time, I try to go back to the game since I started playing Hearthstone, as I do with most other games like Diablo, like a few others, to see how they get updated, to see all the fun stuff that gets introduced. And over time, you know, because I was pretty burned out on Path of Exile, most of the time when I went back to the game, I got pretty bored pretty quickly. So it's been quite some time, and there was a lot of new stuff that I hadn't seen. And uh, with the beta invite that I got with Act 4 coming up, with a lot of new content being introduced, I had quite a blast just discovering all the stuff that I've missed. So today I want to share with you guys uh, some of my experiences. I'll show you guys when I'm done talking here. Um, you know, it's some few clips of my little Marauder that I've uh, had a little project on on the beta. And uh, generally, uh, just how things are going. Now again, if you want to see what Path of Exile is all about, uh, at least a year ago, you guys can just see the Path of Exile playlist. It is, it is a game I thoroughly, thoroughly played back then. So, um, the beta came out and it introduced a lot of features that I want to talk about. Uh, primarily, the really big one is they fixed desync. Now, they fixed desync by pretty much locking your client with their server and it makes it so your actions are a little bit delayed. But in practice, and I have practiced it because this is available on the beta, it's really not a big deal. Um, now, a lot of people are really, really happy about this and, and I agree. Desync is basically the server thinks you're somewhere else than where you actually are. And when that when that happens in in a game like Path of Exile where you die instantly, well, that's a little bit of a problem. So you tend to die a lot of time, and it was a, a way that you die that seemed really, really unfair. Now, if you have like an internet lag with the new uh, lock step that they have, um, you can you can still die because your client basically freezes when you're lagging. And well, yeah, you 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 can still die. You can still die because of your internet connection. But I think you'll feel far less cheated. And this this single thing really changes the appeal of the game for a lot of people. So I want to tell you guys, this this is going to happen in Path of Exile. It is being implemented well. If you like Path of Exile but you hated desync, maybe it's a game you want to revisit one of these days. So let's, let's talk about my revisiting here. So this is the character that I made and um, some people uh, have taken a liking to this character, including myself. It is a self-found character, and you can see it's only been played for like 18 hours, which is which is a reasonable amount. But at you know, level 77, with only shit that I've found, it's it's doing pretty well. So the, the main character is an Ice Crash character. I played a few characters since the beta. I didn't really like it after two days of just playing uh, Static Strike and whatever. I actually was a bit bored in the beta. They are adding a lot of content. They are adding, are adding like Act 4 stuff, but... I've played a lot of Path of Exile, guys. Uh, what really takes it for me is just a really awesome, really feel-good skill, and that is Ice Crash. So Ice Crash is um, just a skill that, basically in this game, you put skills, they're gems, you put them in your gear, so it has that concept to it. Then you link it up with modifiers. Whoa, modifiers, okay. So I'm using Ice Crash. This is Ice Crash, see, boom. Spikes of ice come down from the ground. It does 200% base damage, which is ridiculous. It has 25% less attack speed, which doesn't really matter because my character kills basically everything in one hit these days. And uh, it does like a, a second hit, and it does like a three stages. I'm pretty sure Ice Crash can only hit each target once. So I, I originally thought this skill would be really bad with a crit because... Um, well, you just do massive overkill or like no damage. But actually, because of uh, I think the fact that you could miss and it could retry to hit a second or a third time, this is actually a pretty good skill to use with low accuracy, I think. But in any case, I'm using it with weapon elemental damage, melee physical, added fire, and with this pretty good weapon, but I was using a much shittier one for most of this character's life, I have 27,000 DPS, which is quite a lot. Um, I am using a few other skills. I'm using Herald of Ash, which is a little bit extra fire damage, scaling my physical damage. I am using Hatred, which is a little bit cold damage, scaling my physical damage. I'm using Castle and Damage Taken with Temp Chains. Now, in the videos you're about to see, I'm actually not using this because I overleveled my Temp Chains. I didn't realize it because I'm a dumbass. But, uh, yeah. And Blood Rage. I think Blood Rage on Castle and Damage Taken is a very, very nice way to do it. Um, if, if you're at full life, 
basically blood rage you take a bunch of damage they change it from chaos damage to physical and that's affected by your endurance charges which is kind of good um, so it's just really awesome um, if you're not taking damage then you don't need to leech life and if you are taking damage then you need to leech life so put in blood rage on castle damage taken just makes a lot of sense to me so I put it there um, I'm using a new Fortify ability here, uh, which gives you the Fortify on melee hit. Uh, there is the Vigilant Strike, which does this by itself, but it's really clunky. This is a support gem that I have linked to Leap Slam. Leap Slam is just leap, and you slam, and you do damage, and when I land and hit stuff, it's going to Fortify. And Fortify is a 25% damage mitigation that works on everything except uh, damage over time effects. I have Endurance Charge on melee stun, and I'll show you guys why that is, and faster attack, so I can leap around faster like a little froggy. Uh, also, I have uh, Endurance uh, Charge on melee stun, melee physical damage, added fire on my heavy strike. Um, just because I, I am obviously starting to run a pretty stun heavy build, so it's pretty nice to get Endurance Charges that way and not have to endure and cry all the time. My last link is Vengeance with uh, Endurance Charge on melee stun again and stun. The reduced enemy stun threshold is additive and I have a lot of it and it makes it so uh, Vengeance, even if it just glints anything it's going to stun it and if it stuns it it's really good because vengeance is an automatic is automatically triggered attack so if i'm surrounded and i'm getting really really screwed even if i'm frozen if i'm like whatever it's going it's going to vengeance so uh, one out of three times i get hit it uses this skill and this skill basically because i have a lot of radius and because i have a lot of stun modifiers stuns the screen and that is largely the concept of the character it's a it's a character that um if if i'm in trouble i get a, i get temp chains and i stun stuff and i have the chill from the ice crash so stun temp chains and yeah chill that's like really really nullifying the monsters and from the beta it seems like the monsters are a bit overtuned the rest of my gear, good ring, good ring, terrible amulet, pretty good belt that I just got literally making this video right now. So my character is level 77. This is the passive skill tree of the game. Uh, all the classes share this passive skill tree, but uh, your, the class that you choose, and in my case I chose Marauder, dictates where you start in it. And I chose Marauder because I wanted to go mace, because I wanted to stun stuff. Now this passive tree will probably be different the next time you actually play the game. Um, but uh, I wanted to get the radius, I wanted to get some HP in the Templar, I wanted to get the mace nodes. Uh, skull cracking is really good, hits that stun enemies have culling strike, and I basically stun enemies with almost every single attack on almost every single enemy. So I basically have culling strike, so it's really awesome. Um, I get a bunch of incidental armor, I get a lot of endurance charges. This character has seven endurance charges, which uh, makes it very easy because I can keep them up. Uh, I go through the duelist to get just a lot a lot of efficient damage, a lot of efficient life nodes, just everything. I get a lot of attack speed, so I don't need faster attacks on my, on my main weapon. Most of this stuff is pretty standard. Some of the stuff that I have that a lot of uh, similar builds don't have is some of these armor life nodes. I think those are pretty good. I think Juggernaut is pretty good. I also have Stun Mastery, which might seem a little bit weird for you guys but I think unwavering stance is pretty bad even if you're like a heavy armor character like myself it's not very good because um, just evading a little bit is just really nice um, and if, if you're gonna get if you're gonna get uh, what are, where is it here iron reflexes it might be okay but I don't even want iron reflex because I don't really deliberately want uh, evasion gear so I'm using uh, this stun duration stun threshold and more stun threshold and more stun duration and stun recovery. The 50% stun recovery is pretty nice. It makes it so when, I'm, when I get stunned, and because I think monsters are overtuned, they are doing a lot of damage, you, you do get stunned a lot. When you're playing a character that you have to go in the middle of monsters to get efficient damage, well, you need to recover from stuns, even though I have the mechanics that prevent me from being chain stunned with the passive stun reflect hit with the... Um, with the temp chains, that kind of stuff. It, it makes it so I don't, I very rarely get stunned at all, but when I do, I can, I only want to get stunned once. Like if I get stunned once, that means I use my counter attack, I stun everything else, and then I get a chance to attack. But if I didn't have much stun recovery, they might get a second attack on me to process chain stun. So this stun mastery is actually really good. It's one of the last skills I picked up, but I'm really happy that I did because it's it's a very cool skill and it's it's very awesome to see um, you know secondary uh, secondary effects like stuns being used. So some, some pretty good stats here. This is without Blood Rage. With Blood Rage and the Frenzy Charges, uh, my Ice Crash DPS is like 35,000. Uh, so basically I just wreck everything. Um, heavy Strike a little bit less, but Heavy Strike I try to make mostly physical. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, and in terms of defenses, 
my resists, uh, this is normal, they're, they're actually not even capped on Merciless, but because I have seven en uh, endurance charges, and because when I just heavy strike stuff, when I'm a single target on a boss, I just naturally max out my endurance charges. So it's just very, very easy to keep the endurance charges up. My armor is pretty low, but um, usually you're not really gonna die to armor stuff. Uh, and I have even, even a really bad granite, just 65% just puts me at 15,000. Uh, so, you know, very, 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 very solid character. So what has my experience been? In the beta of the game, I think is overtuned a little bit. The, the monsters and maps just hit for a lot. I died a few times, as you'll see in my experiences here in a second. Um, but what they've really tried to do with this patch, with this really, really big content, is um, trying to make melee viable. And I think with Ice Crash, they made melee really fun. I don't know if they really made it viable because a lot of the things that you encounter in the end game, which is randomly generated maps and that kind of stuff, it makes it so you still kind of die to the same things. Um, like when I, when I did a map, uh, monsters I couldn't stun, minus max resists, uh, extra damage, extra cold damage, well, I just died anyway, and I basically was using my melee attack as a range attack, which I kind of can because I have so much radius, but it wasn't really effective. Like, I feel just any bow character would have done significantly better. And usually when uh, you want to just make a really, really powerful character, you're going to want to do one that is just capable of handling the whole spectrum of possible modifications on maps. And, uh, yeah, it feels like melee is just not quite there yet. Uh, the base mechanics of the game, they haven't really changed. A lot of the content that's added is really cool, but they haven't really altered that much, even in the you know, long span that I haven't played. I think the one way to actually fix melee for good, I mean, for good, for good, is to make the fortify buff, which is basically, basically melee-ish only. Um, you have to make the fortify buff um, negate all resistance penalties, or uh, maybe fortify would have, your resist cannot be reduced below maximum, something like that. And if you have that, well, then melee can be viable. Until that happens, melee is just not quite as good as ranged classes in Path of Exile, but, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of getting there. Speaking of all the content that I missed, um, it's really a blast to explore this stuff, so, you know, some of you guys that uh, probably seen this video, seen Path of Exile for the first time, probably are completely clueless, if you're, even if you're at this stage in the video, but a lot of, a lot of the PoE pros who have, uh, you know, maybe Maybe drop down the YouTube, see what their old little crip is doing. Uh, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of fun as I experience the content that I've missed for, you know, the large part of about a year. Um, and, man, I did have quite a lot of fun today exploring. You know, it's, it's like when, when new content comes out in, in your game, like when you have an expansion, Hearthstone, for instance, it's like, it's like a really big deal. Um, you know, if you don't play Hearthstone for like a year, you, ex you experience all the expansions all at once, you know, you get... You get so much cool stuff all at once, and uh, you know that's that's really all the fun that I had uh, in my experiences on the beta. That was the bulk of it. Uh, I don't know how much PoE I'll be playing in the future. I will uh, see if I can play when the uh, Act Four is launched live, and maybe I'll make somewhat of a similar character. I'll see. I'm the type of guy who very much dislikes making similar characters. In fact, I only make one character once, except for Dischargers. But again, the Ice Crash thing is so cool. I might make an exception to this time as well. So for now, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hope you, you know, Hearthstone fans don't mind uh, PoE video too much. But uh, you know, it is. It is something that I did for a long part of my life, and uh, it is it is a cool thing. It is a cool thing to come back to it uh, just to see what's going on. So check out the clips. Check out all the craziness that I experienced on stream uh, today. And, uh, yeah, have fun. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I don't like this map. I don't like this map. I don't like Enfeeble. I don't like the monsters in the map. We're, uh... Oh, what's up? Okay. What's Jungle Valley? Is that like a really high map? No. Slay the corrupted boss. Okay, I see.
just cruise through here normally. Gem cutters? We'll get that later. Where's the boss? The boss is here, right? It just hasn't come down yet. Holy shit. It's shocking ground I'm standing in. Vulnerability, extra damage. Okay, that one's dead at least. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh, I got him! I got him! I killed him, I got him. Okay, we can get three tries at it. Three tries. gotten. Thank you. That's it, right? Yep. 14. I got a pretty good roll. That's a good weapon. Oh, cartographers. That's good, right? Oh, five link. That's good, right? Okay. Do we want to go like ape shit with Alex and Chaos on the cartographers? Let's do like 10 more. One additional item. Three rare monsters. One additional item. Explodes. One additional item. Fuck it. Plus one chest level, two additional items, three rare monsters. Uh, fine, whatever, fuck it. Oh yeah, baby! Stun the screen! Who's still alive? Oh shit! I got some sick crap here. Oh, it died! Okay. Okay, that was Flame Blast. Okay, I need, I need some Endurance Charges. I, I don't know what the fuck that was, guys, so... Go easy on me on that one. Okay, I killed the Beyond boss. That was sick! Alright. Alright, what do we get? We got Mountain Ledge, Aqueduct, Sewer, Mountain Ledge, Cemetery, Dungeon. Holy shit, that was like the greatest thing ever, man. Look at those maps. Total worth. Get the fuck out of here. So that boss was was like the real fucking deal, by the way. Do 
we get any beyond bosses in this one? No? Oh, we got something. Five link. Two five links in this map. 